guys have been here since when? Uh, we just got here today at about 4.30, 4.15 uh -huh. or so. I got here at 4.30. Okay. Um, this is the second protest that we've done this year uh, for uh, abortion rights and reproductive rights. The other one was a couple of days ago, wasn't it? Yes. Okay. It, the other one was on Tuesday. Right. Okay. How's it going? It's going fairly well, I would say. Um, we've got uh, more people saying that they intend to come to this one. Uh -huh. um, and we've gotten a lot more positive responses than we expected. All right. You you intend to be here until what time? 8 p.m. Or until traffic slows down enough that it's not really no point in being here. Okay. Uh, as far as negative reaction goes, anybody getting, has anybody been hateful to you? Murderers. Uh, we've had some truck full of boys call us gay, which was funny because I am gay. Well, bisexual, but you get the point. Um, we've had people shout at us, read your Bibles. Uh, people revving up their bike engines so much that it actually hurt your ears, hurt our ears to hear it. Yeah. Um, just the usual stuff. <laughs> the nowhere usual near stuff. as nowhere near as much of a reaction uh, of a negative reaction as when we were protesting for Black Lives Matter. Right. Yeah. Because you know, racism is a lot more prevalent than I think mm, sexism in this area. Right. Hey, let me get a shot of your son here. You said you uh, you robbed that, did you? Yes. <laughs> yes. We took this one from a post on Facebook. Admittedly. I couldn't tell who, who to credit for it, unfortunately, uh -huh. so I hope maybe they will see it um, and maybe they will speak out, speak up, um, but... Uh, see stuff like that, that's pretty common. Benjamin, thank you, appreciate you talking to Absolutely, me. thank you for coming. All right, and uh, we are here in front of the Hardee's in Collinsville, and... I'm gonna go around rather than get close to the road with some of the traffic. It's a little scary out here. <laughs> little scary, I would yeah. say, I would say maybe a lot. Tell me, Melody, you this is your second second time. You were here a couple days ago, I think, yes. right? Yes. I right. was here the, the tell first me how it's time, going. and uh, we spoke to Star News, and I can tell you about the same thing that I told him. Uh, you know, I graduated in 1975 from Marksville High School, and uh, Roe v. Wade was in the law of the land in 1973. So all my life, I've had that federal constitutional protection. And so when this happened, and we knew it was going to happen, they let us know it was going to happen. Um, they loaded the court. Uh, Trump had a big part of that, but really, the Democrats had a big part of that. They did not fight as half as viciously as the Republicans did. And when you fight hard, you win. And so I feel like women, especially women of color and poor women, are going to be deeply affected by this. And. I'm very upset about that, and I hope that we can reverse it, but I'm afraid it's going to take a lot of fight. And the Democrats had decades, decades to get this done. They promised, Obama came in and said he was going to codify it. They didn't get it done. They just felt like it wasn't that important, and this day was not going to happen, and this day has happened. You are a Martinsville resident. I right? am. Okay. Melody, thank you. Appreciate you talking. To I, I appreciate your time. All right. Go over here. We've got one, another gentleman here, and your name again, sir, is? Chandler Roberts. Chandler Roberts. Chandler, you, is this your first day here, or have you been uh, here? I was before? here on uh, Tuesday as well. On Tuesday, okay. Tell me how it's going for you. Um, it's been going pretty well. I mean, we have a good amount of support. Uh, the cars beeping are just as much as the people flipping us off. And you know, that guy over there just a second ago was talking the whole time. I couldn't hear him over his truck rumbling, but he was mumbling something. So, but I mean, it's been pretty good. Uh, but uh, tell me how you feel about the calls. What, what? I mean, I just. It's what you expect um, when capitalism gets to a stage like this. It corrodes into fascism. 
and obviously the Democrats, they've had years to codify it, but it works better in their favor if they can say, vote for us so, or you'll lose your rights. It's the uh, le lesser evilism, and Obama wanted to codify it. He said he would codify it, but he didn't. Um, every uh, Biden, he could have codified it, but he didn't. The Democrats are just as culpable as the Republicans. And there's no left-wing party in this country. There's a center right and there's a far right. And it looks like the far right is going to take over the majority of positions in the government because the center right is uh, crap, pretty much. And you are, I think you told me, a Ridgeway? Ridgeway, yeah. Okay. We get a shot of your sign here. Video. All right. Thank you for talking to me. Yeah, no problem. All right. We're looking at... Uh, the traffic here at the intersection is fairly quiet here on a Thursday afternoon. Uh, did you? Are you guys going to be back again, or is this um, your? We're going to be back in Saturday. On Saturday. Yeah. Okay.